Hello everyone, Victor is here, your guide to all things organic chemistry, and today I want to look at this fun looking organic chemistry puzzle that is all about NMR. So here we have a molecule with the molecular formula C8H18, and we need to figure out what is the structure for this molecule, given that this molecule only gives us a single signal in HNMR. So we don't have much data to work with, but let's see what we can do about that. So First of all, what do I know? I know that my molecule has the molecular formula of C8H18. The first thing that I want to look at is going to be the hydrogen deficiency index, or HDI. You may also know that as the degree of unsaturation or index of unsaturation. We can easily calculate that using the simple empirical formula by taking twice the number of carbons in your molecule, plus two, minus any hydrogens, minus any halogens that you might have, plus any nitrogens, we ignore oxygens and sulfurs, and we are going to divide that by two. This number is going to give us any number of potential double bonds or maybe cycles that we have in the molecule. So in this particular case, what we have is twice the number of carbons, which is eight, plus two, minus the number of hydrogens that I have is 18, and I don't have anything else that would be relevant in this case, so I will divide that by 2, and that gives me a great total of 0. And that is a very important piece of information, because that tells me that my molecule does not have any double bonds, nor do I have any cycles in this molecule. So that is gotta be an open chain molecule of some sort. Now, the next piece of information that I have is that I only have one HNMR signal. That means that all hydrogens in my molecule are absolutely identical. So all of my hydrogens gotta be on the same style of a group, and they all must have the same type of connectivity. So since I have 18 hydrogens, I'm going to crack some numbers and see what my possibilities might be. So since I have 18 hydrogens, what if I have the possibility of 18 CH groups? Would that be a reasonable possibility? Well, no, that would not be a reasonable possibility because I only have 8 carbons, so I definitely cannot have 18 CHs. So that one is just nonsense. Well, how about 9 CH2 groups? Well, that also wouldn't work because, again, I only have 8 carbons, so that is also not a possibility. That means that the only viable possibility for my hydrogen-containing groups is going to be 6 identical CH3s. So that is what I'm going to go with. Now, if I have six CH3s, that means that I'm going to account for six carbons in my molecule. That means I have two more carbons that are my leftovers, like a turkey dinner from tonight that you're probably going to have tomorrow, because at the time when I'm recording this tutorial, it is Thanksgiving in the States, so everybody is enjoying their turkey, and I'm sitting in front of computer and recording videos. Anyways, these two leftover carbons, they do not have any hydrogens, so that means that now I kind of have the building blocks for my molecule that I can use to build my molecule together and construct what that molecule should look like. So I have six CH3 groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I also have two carbons that do not have any hydrogens on them. So it's going to be carbon number one and carbon number two. Now, by taking all these building blocks together, all these pieces, and combining them together, there is physically only one way how I can put it all together to make one single molecule, which is going to be a molecule that looks like this, with a couple of carbons in the middle, and then we have six CH3s around, all of which are going to be absolutely identical, and therefore they're all going to be giving you the same signal in HNMR. What did you guys think about this spectroscopy question? Did you like it? Do you want me to add more spectroscopy walkthroughs like this one? Let me know in the comments below if you do. And of course, if you learned something new today, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and classmates to help promote this video and help more students see it. Feel free to leave your questions and feedback in the comments below as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next, and I will see you tomorrow!